United States pledges additional significant humanitarian assistance for the Afghan people. The United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, has committed to providing more than $308 million US dollars in material and financial support to the citizens of Afghanistan. This new, initial 2022 contribution will focus on life-saving nutrition and food, healthcare, and cold weather-related relief such as shelter kits, heaters, blankets, warm clothing, and emergency cash. The efforts will focus on the most vulnerable, including women, children, and people with disabilities. The project will also incorporate transportation and logistics support to make sure the vital goods and aid workers can reach the most difficult to access areas. With this donation, contributions from the United States to assist the people of Afghanistan will total 782 million US dollars since October 2021. The United States is a recipient of five Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, three Shining World Leadership Awards for Good Governance, seven Shining World Leadership Awards for Promoting Healthy Living, and Shining World Leadership Awards for Good Governor, Justice, Protection, and Environmental Protection, and a laureate of 24 Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, three Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection, two Shining World Leadership Awards for Loving Care, a Shining World Leadership Award for Good Governance, a Shining World Peace Leader Award, Shining World Caring Leadership Award, and Shining World Super Loving Care Leadership Award. Our heartfelt accolades, United States, for your continued compassionate assistance to the Afghan people. May conditions in Afghanistan quickly improve for peace and prosperity in Allah's infinite benevolence. New Omicron subvariant of COVID-19 spreads even faster. A new mutation of Omicron, called BA2, has been found to be even more transmissible than the previous subvariant BA1. Research from Denmark has already found that BA2 is the dominant strain in the nation, and a person's risk of contracting it after being exposed to it in a household is 39% or 10% higher than BA1. BA2 has been identified in at least 57 countries as of February 2, 2022. Another subvariant named BA3 has also been discovered, but is currently not spreading as quickly as the others. The World Health Organization has warned that the overall risk related to Omicron remains very high. Thank you researchers from Denmark for informing us of the increased contagiousness of the new version of Omicron. In the wisdom of the divine, may humanity quickly take stronger measures to implement a vegan world as we move into sustainable peace for all. Singaporean Eco Inventor creates floating edible gardens for waste. Ibn Rashad and a team of other alumni, as well as graduate students from the National University of Singapore, are using a farming method inspired by the Aztec people in ancient Mexico. They are creating floating gardens to grow food in shallow water called chinabars. Mr. Ibn repurposed used plastic bottles and discarded beauty product containers to help the garden to float, and included crushed recycled glass as part of the growing substrate. Two advisors from the beauty product company L'Oreal Singapore are also helping with the project, and the organization has provided almost 30,000 US dollars towards the endeavor. The plants grown so far included lasca leaves, basil, and kekong, otherwise known as water spinach. Our applause, Ibn Rashad and team, on your ingenious method of growing edible plants on water bodies. In the blessings of heaven, may all forms of vegan agriculture flourish as people find joy and tranquility in nature's garden. Undersea cable to supply United Kingdom with green electricity from Morocco. A 3,800 km undersea cable, the longest of its kind in the world, will connect the UK to Moroccan green energy creation networks, eventually providing around 8% of the nation's electricity needs. The power will be derived from 1,500 square kilometers of wind and solar generators, together with battery storage, to help maintain a consistent 20 plus hours a day supply. The 21.9 billion US dollars project will be developed by UK-based renewables company Xlinx. It will deliver electricity to around 7 million homes by 2030 through four cables carrying the 3.6 gigawatt load along the shallow water route to Al Verdescot in the UK via the coastlines of Spain, Portugal and France. Great news, Xlinx, on your remarkable project to transport green energy to the United Kingdom. In the love of heaven, may all countries collaborate with one another. 
to improve the lives of all beings in peace and gratitude. Two young men give free haircuts to nearly 200 orphans in Olak, also known as Vietnam, in response to the program Tear for Children, which was organized by the Federation of Labor and Laborer Newspaper, the mobile barbershop owned by 23-year-old Do Von Tien and 24-year-old Nguyen Tan Man, provided free haircuts on a weekend before the Olasses of Vietnamese New Year in February. The recipients were nearly 200 children who sadly lost their parents during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Green recently completed his three-year military service and wanted to do something to help the orphaned youngsters, saying, For children who no longer see their parents, a new year without their most beloved will be so tough for them. We would like to express our admiration for the kind hearts of Do Von Tien and Nguyen Tan Man. May Buddha bless your noble deeds for bringing love and dignity to so many beautiful children. New York City schools to serve only vegan meals on Fridays. The mayor of New York City in the United States, the Honorable Eric Adams, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion recipient, recently announced that all public schools in the city will serve vegan-only meals on Fridays. Mayor Adams credits the plant-based diet with enabling him to overcome diabetes. Meat from animal people has also been banned on Mondays, while food choices on Friday will now include healthy vegan items such as plantain and rice bowls, Mediterranean chickpeas and more. Mayor Adams said that the impetus for the change came from the students themselves, who wanted healthier food options served in their schools. Congratulations, New York and the Honorable Eric Adams, on your actions to introduce the health-giving vegan diet to the beautiful children of your city. In celestial radiance, may your endeavor soon expand and be emulated by all other schools on every day of the week as we teach our youth the importance of being vegan. Russian researchers develop new methods to investigate nanopharmaceutical compounds and avoid animal people testing. Researchers Dr. Vladimir Vinogradov and Alexandra Prejeina from the ITMO University in St. Petersburg, Russia, recently co-authored a paper on a new testing model they created using a spinach leaf that had the vessels and the inside of the cells removed. Only the cell walls remained which are similar in shape and size to the capillaries and arterioles in the human brain. The prototype can be used as an animal person-free model for both nanopharmaceutical and traditional drug testing and has already been applied to replicate and treat thrombosis. In the future, human cells will be inserted into the plant cellulose for even more accurate results. Many thanks to Dr. Vladimir Vinogradov and Alexandra Prejeina for developing this innovative alternative to animal people testing. In the grace of the providence, may your work help to protect the precious lives of animal people as we put compassion first in all of humanity's endeavors.